Hello internet, it's Team MMX here and we are tonight going to be looking at the Blackstone Fortress board game from Games Workshop. It's new, it's not out for two weeks, but hopefully we're going to go through it, answer any questions you've got and just have a, a good first look. Um, this copy is being provided by our local game store, which is Stronghold Games in Hull in the United Kingdom. They've kindly um, asked Games Workshop if we could do a video on it, do a reveal. Um, and go through it. If you have any questions about any of the contents, ask us and we'll try our best to answer them. Um, if you don't know us, we try and do YouTube content, Twitch content and Facebook Live content for 40k um, hobby stuff in general and yeah, let's just jump straight into it. Yeah, let's just open this box. I like the box. I don't want to open the box yet. Uh, I also enjoyed that Marcus joined us via chat after uh, he had a small incident earlier, which meant that he couldn't join yeah, us. Yeah, no, there's normally three of us, there's just two tonight, so the box looks good. We've already seen the box of Games Workshop, haven't we? We've already seen these models. Everyone's been looking at them for a long time. They're some really nice models. Let's just go straight into it. Look at this flash. Sorry about the glare. Sorry about the sound, guys. With a, a bit funny. Oh, there we go. Quick start guide. Everyone wants to look at other stuff, don't they? Everyone's going to be like, what are the 40k yeah. rules? What are the we, We're not really that excited by the quick start guide for now. I am. Are you? Yeah, let's have a quick look. Okay. That's cool. Okay. The little start game. It's this is good. just the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. So, shiny, shiny cover sheet. Yeah, these are, these are coming in all the GW boxes, aren't they? Look at that. Yep, that uh, works cool. What we got? New yeah. models. Many models. So is it uh, bad guys on grey, good guys on red? Um, I think so, more or less. I think so, yeah. So we've got two sprues of bad guys, they're not identical, but I don't think not any of the models wear mono pose, so that's cool. Now you've got all your options in there. Are the drones on there? The, oh no, the spindly drones yeah, are here. Yeah, the spindly drones cool. are up top. The spindly okay. drones are pretty small, but they're uh, really cool. Yeah, so we might go up to the camera. I think, if, I think these sprues are on Games Workshop's website, so you can have a look. But there's typical the typical grey plastic we've been getting from GW and They're the coloured plastic we've had in some of the new board games. The, some of the new kill teams. The models themselves are really nicely detailed. Are we looking at not sure this will show up on camera or not. It's really hard to hold <laughs> them up. Um, but we've got uh, where you've got these ribbons running down the on the priest here. You've got all the interesting little iconography on there as well. Great. Very nice ones. I'm loving the uh, flamer with a chainsaw attached because who doesn't need a chainsaw bayonet on a flame? They're gorgeous, aren't they? They're, do you know what they'd be great for? Kill team. Yeah, there's a lot of kill team stuff. If there's, in here. I'd, I'd, I'd be amazed if there isn't rules for kill team in here. If there isn't rules for kill team in here, then well, I'm sure they're going to come out as a PDF yeah, or we'll something. They've got to, soon. surely. Yeah. Like. Oh, so I also love the little stuff. rattlings. The rattlings are amazing. Really messing it up now by uh, oh cloven hoof beastman with trousers. That we're, is sorry, awesome. we're, we're just now getting excited and looking at things on the sprues. Yeah, yeah well, <laughs> just pretty boring, much boring, boring content. Uh, so yeah, we can hold up. To, uh, no, it's not going to pick up. I, mean, I don't know yeah. what's going to pick up best here. Probably this camera. Yeah, we'll do do our best to. The thing is, the, spru the sprues are on Games Workshop's website. So apart from this butthead psyker, that's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. I, I love the rattlings. He looks like the guy from Little Nicky. <laughs> when he gets the boobs in his head, yeah. The, the models are full of character. Absolutely. I also love the robot, but that's because I think it's one of my kind. See, I know you've had the Zion Vault, but this is like, yeah. the, apart from that, um, the Necromunda yeah, these bounty are, hunter, these are proper beastmen. Yeah, They're proper chaos exactly beastmen, all. yeah. Um, unaligned. We've also got, and I think there might be a prediction that this would be a clan pack later on. Yeah, I thought that. On his own sprue, we've got the uh, Chaos Space Marine leader. With his thunder hammer. It's really hard to tell where the camera is on here, I apologise. They're really cool. Yeah. I think, fingers crossed the um, the quality is coming out alright to you guys. Has been these pick up, okay. Yeah, we, we didn't get our usual mic for coverage tonight, and hopefully the sound background noise isn't too bad. But, um, the most important thing is, hot damn, they could be my new exotic champion. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. He's gorgeous. We like him a lot. He's a, uh, other stuff in the box. Good. We've got a factual basis. They're all slotters. Which you can probably They're all slaughters. I believe so. Uh, do you know what it would be? I don't know. Uh, I was going to say it might be because everything looks. Be everything. Do you know what? Everything on here is push fit. Because yeah. it's a board game, isn't it? So it's, it's push fit. You don't need to build it. You don't need to paint it. Slot it in there and you play. The only one that's not a slaughter is he's, we've got a drilled out hexagonal base, which has got a peg for this uh, yeah. Chaos Champion. He's, he's definitely going to be singular kit in a couple of weeks by himself. Yeah. But with that, oh. Hidden Vault Envelope. Do not open until the Hidden Vault quest has been completed. Uh, no, let's not do that yet. Let's, let's not ruin that. the ending of the game <laughs> during an unboxing. That would be brilliant. All Maybe these, later. These little, okay, so any board game that's good gives you bags for your bits. 
and these are They've got proper some cool little artwork on them. The they're branded bags, yeah. Yep, we won't actually open them because I'm assuming it's going to be given someone. Okay, we will just open them. Yeah, yeah I think they're just sealed, right? Yeah, they're just little, they're little sealable push bags. fit like Ziploc bags, which That's you'll keep cool. all your cards in. That They've got cool. some funky artwork, we'll see if we can get this without too much glare. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem with these lights in the moment where we are. Yeah. So. It's actually surprisingly bright in here considering we're in like an event hall. Yeah. The lights are doing a good job. Yeah. Hopefully the mic is picking us up and not all the games that are going on around us. What else we got? Oh, yeah. book. Sample Ooh. chapter. Ah, so they did do some Speed Freaks as well. Speed Freaks had a sample chapter of um, The Beast Arises in it. It was like one of the end chapters of the first book where the orcs show up. So this is, I'm assuming, Blackstone Fortress by Darius Hinks. So it's a tie-in novel that's going to come out at the same time, I imagine. I, don't, I haven't seen this up for pre-order, at least. Oh no, pre-orders go up on Saturday, so it might come up then. What have you found? Some loose just plastic. Just round a bit of plastic. <laughs> and more bags. And more bags. Including, a, a, including a little bag. That's a lot of bags. I, don't, I, don't know what, I think a little bag's probably for these little cards. Maybe. Yeah, so what are they? They're initiative cards, so I think you get... Um, okay, so you probably... I assume what? we're going to guess that you draw for initiative, um, and you've got all your characters on the initiative card here. Sorry. Bad, bad stream etiquette there. I'm just, gonna... yeah, just completely ignoring our chat. Yeah, well, no, I was making sure it was. Um... Yeah, what else have we got on here? This. Hello, Luke Riley. Hi, Luke Riley. Stuart, you should have come in and you could have watched us that had a proper added look at this. It will be going back to Stronghold soon. Yep. Um, so they'll have a copy for you to have a look through and see whether you actually want to buy it, which I'm sure you will. If we don't keep it. If we don't keep we it, might steal just it, run off with it, it, paint it, film is playing it. <laughs> This is now our copy. Thank you, Stronghold. Yeah. So I'm guessing the initiative cards... The, the, the joke, there's a hell to play video, GW, yeah. but, but I'm assuming you, you mix them up and you draw them and that's who gets to act. It's an extra base, which is just I like that somewhere. random encounters card. Oh, this is, mm. see, some of the artwork's been previewed. That's a... I'm pretty sure that's an amble a picture of, which... Yeah. I don't think that's anything in the, in the box. So... Because it's not an air goal. So is that picture suggesting that we might get add-ons? Maybe. It I, is I shiny can't, new, Luke Riley. It's completely new. I can't see this being a standalone box. It, it, much like Silver Tower when that came out, I'm fully expecting this to be the first in a series. Fingers crossed. Like the the Warhammer Quest, the, the Age of Sigma version, they've done two boxes, but 40k should be more popular than that. So we've got uh, these are. The, I think these are all threat cards. So it seems like you're going to be drawing these, and you're going to get more enemies to yeah, fight as you come yeah. through. That's cool. Potentially more dangerous stuff. This seems to be the cards for your for your players and. Um, Bad guys, I don't want to. Well, let's yeah, open I, mean, I mean, we're opening we're, we're, everything, yeah. let's just open everything. Yeah, why not? Why waste it? Um, one thing I've seen, you saw it in the rules earlier, was it's a four player game. If you get five players, one of you plays the bad guys, so I'm assuming there's an AI mode. Yeah, there is an AI yeah, mode. Yeah, so there's AI You, you, you can that. literally play this yourself. Well, that's, that's, that's really good. So, yeah, we got the different rules. Um, I'm just going to quickly pull our lovely assistant. Could you grab us a knife from somewhere? Yeah. Yeah, uh, if you ask Ben to get up from behind the counter, if there's not one on top. Uh, Stephen Friedley, are these characters usable for 40k? Yes, that is sort of we've looked at and we're going to go back into it when we get into this book, because um, that's what everyone... Are there points value to the figures? Yes, yes David, there are. There are. They well, are available um, for match play. This book here, we're going to go into this in a minute, it's got rules for match play for all of the models in the box. Cool. Bit of a bit of a strange thing about what factions they can they can fight for, so yep. these look like they're all the board game rules Thank at the you moment, very much, which... Paul. Um, going to be of as much interest to anyone. I'm now going to fail to open a knife for some time. <laughs> Paul, why don't you get the difficult to open knife? I genuinely can't open this knife. It's just you in life, isn't it? Yeah, it's just me failing at life. There we go. I'm going to put them in their bag. Cool. I also failed to use Twitter for about 20 minutes while we set up. Yep. Uh, these are combat... Thank you, Paul. Our lovely assistant over there. Uh, we've got combat cards here, which seems to be setting up your deployments, set, set up the tile maps. All oh, right. okay, yeah, so... Uh, they also tell you where there's threats and where there's certain objectives. Now then, the question's going to be is, do you draw it from that and do the missions randomly? Or do the missions have preset one and they're extra, so is that additional content or not? Possibly dice are weird, I've not, I've not looked at how to play this yet on the video they did earlier, but... Um, symbols on dice and blank symbols, it's kind of Imperial assault -y for anyone who yeah. played Imperial Assault. Also, the new Speed Freaks box uses a similar idea. Ah, okay. Um, but characters have stats, which are these shapes, and you, uh, you're required to hit the shapes. Yeah, very Imperial um, assault -y. You've also got challenges in here, which are extra things that you might be asked to do. Uh, different ways of doing combat. 
Um, it almost feels like the challenge cards are sort of like the open war cards that give you different yeah. things to do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're also going to have a little bag for them. Let's put everything in the little bags. Yeah, basically, tidy up as not going into this book yet, but we'll go into it in a second. Let's just yeah. get the board game stuff out of the way, and then we'll get into the 40k stuff, which we know a lot better. Yeah. This, is, this is all the shiny new game, but we're not really sure how a lot of it works. And then we've also got the 40k stuff on top. While we're at it, I'm just going to open everything now. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, so this is um, like equipment. That's cool. There is, um, like I said, we had a quick flick through the books earlier before we did this, and then cunningly resealed them inside their bags, so no yep. one would ever know until we told you. Med pack, all oh, these med packs, incantation, um, that's cool. Be between missions, you can actually go trade. You can get things to buy and trade things with. This is cool. Do you know what? Oh, do you know what? One thing would be worth going through. Yeah. The stuff in here, the items. Like there you go, Jakara weapon enhancement. So some stuff we know about like Debbie Egg blast, blasting charge. Is there possible possible uh, speak, possibly upgrades in this set that are gonna hint at what's coming out in 40k in the next possibly. year or two? Possibly. These encounter cards, I'd imagine you when we were looking at the uh, maps earlier they had numbers on them. Yep. Uh, these encounter cards are also numbered so, and they tell you what you draw when they come out. Okay, so, so is, this a, like, is this like the zombie side yeah, system where, sort of where a, you're like a threat or a challenge rating? And, yeah. Okay, that's cool. So you've got, it tends to be the same thing, so it tells you how many traitor guards and you've got, it tells you how many Negavolt cultists, which are now a thing, because yep. we need electric cultists. <laughs> Everybody loved the 200 cultists list before, now it has Tesla. Yeah, but it's a bit, it's a bit weird. Uh, you've got just the Urgles in here, you've got the Spindle Drones. Spindle Drones are one of the weirdest units with the 40k oh. rolls I've ever oh. seen. Oh. Just in case there wasn't enough bags. More bags. Bags for days. Uh, we've got the Rogue Psychers on these. I assume you don't have the... Uh, what, the what Obsidious Malax is on here. Okay, so he's the Chaos Lord. Yeah, the Chaos Lord's name is Obsidious Malax. Okay. Uh, one of the comments there saying it's, it's got a Dead of Winter feel to the game. <laughs> Is that actual With thing? That Interesting. Ah. Okay, we're now being told by our lovely assistant Paul. We'll turn that over in a second because that's cool. That the funky bags are uh, to put your character sheet in with their equipment and it keeps you. Because you can play it from session together. to session and there's progression yep. of characters. But that's cool. There's a bit of an RPG feel yeah. to it and your characters. But now we'll store them in it. Yeah, but I'm just going to put I suppose some things in these bags. Yeah. So, so we, we've just got one. Immediate thing. Some of the artwork have like ships on. So the tiles, I just turn that over and the ships. There are a lot and of that's ships. cool because we know Battlefleet Gothic is coming, the Heresy version is coming at some point in the future. Yeah. But that's cool. That's cool stuff. Stabby Knife. Stabby Knife. Let's uh, see if we can get that open. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you've got to be really careful with the knives because we're, this is not our copy and uh, it's going to go on display. It's going to be oh, cool. uh, so it, used it for says... demos and Stronghold games. Ah, cool. So I thought these. This rogue, I thought this was like one team of guys, but judging by this, each ship has different crew. Yeah, different so, that, so that's the Rattlings, yeah. um, that's the Navigator, that's the actual Rogue Trader, yeah. uh, that's, that's the... Um, that's the Priest. The Priest, that's and the, the Ranger. Zealot. And I'm assuming that must be the... Crew? That might be the Crute, or it might be um, the Rogue. Yeah, ah, uh, yes, because the crew, I was going to say the crew is in a war sphere. So, it's, it's the same on the other yeah, side. Yeah, it's a double sided, which is cool. So, it obviously, plays a part into it, so there must be some kind of a game that is. Uh, I know that this is your line of sight ruler, because you literally use a ruler for line of sight. You put that down just anything online you can see. You've also got a bunch of counters, because GW love counters nowadays. Yeah. That, that's the thing that happens a lot. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of counters in um, that's a That's a cool piece of artwork. Obviously, there's the, 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 some some kind of game that's involved in them. Yep. The ships and that is a lovely, lovely. Oh, some really there. cool boards in here. And then these must be the boards for the actual play, which is less boards than I thought. Um, they all push out. I think it builds. Ooh, oh, it builds. It. it builds a lot of boards. Or just, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's flip over and there'll be different configurations. So it, Paul's just teaching us how the game works from off camera and I'm pushing out everything yeah. by holding oh, it. I was going to put it back in. Sure, so we've done that one. put it back in. Build back up and get to the books, which is what people actually want to see, the 40k rules. Yeah, the uh, game director Brian. We'll, we'll, <laughs> well, we'll, we'll we put were, this back tidily in a bit. <laughs> will the rogue traders... Do you reckon this could be tidy with Necromunda? Possibly. Uh, 
Uh, I certainly think you could use the models in a Necromunda gang. Yeah, definitely. Especially the priests. Yeah, the, priest, the priests are really you cool. You definitely use the models. Um, so all this drops in. Bits press out. <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> What's that? That's a giant Xenos skull. That is a giant Xenos skull. Oh, well, that's some kind of chaos ruin there, so that'll be for the Chaos Lords. And yeah, that might be the vault, you so you have to get to at the end. Right, so book-wise... Let's open up the books, and people can ask us 40k questions, which yeah. is what they want to do. Let's go that fast. Yeah, they seem to be interesting one. Rules? Um, but like we say, there is a now Blackstone Fortress website, but do we have the address on that, or are we just No, G Games Workshop have shared it today, they've done a Excellent. new website if where you have like a warm community how to play a video on, which we've not had it long enough to do anything like that, we've not had it long enough to have a game yet, never mind build the models. Uh, we got this a couple of hours ago, really. Yeah, so... Um, and in those couple of hours, he used it very wisely by playing 40k. Yeah, you play 40k, I set up the yeah. Matt did lots of technical so, things, and uh, I played again 40k again. So, so that's a combat guide, that's the rules. Background, wow, that's, well, you won't read this, but... No. That's cool, there's an actual background book with... I actually am quite interested in the background. I, I quite like the, um, I was reading earlier, there's a theory going around that the robot might actually be one of the old AIs. Okay. That uh, survived through. Which would be really interesting because of the contagion of the AI wars yeah. originally, which obviously the artificial intelligence pretty much got killed out. Mm. It may well just have been a fan theory, but I quite liked it. Its origins date back to the dark age of technology when yeah. mankind built thinking machines that eventually turned violent upon their masters. So he known might be an the, AI. Known, of the, known as the men of iron, these sentient robots were all but wiped out, mm. yet Era 025 has persisted over the long millennia, hiding on the fringes of the galaxy, so he and is allowing an others to believe it is an yes. autonomous piece of the Imperium. There you yes. go. Artificial intelligent robots in 40k. And it's looking, it's looking, ah, so it's not even like it's with someone, it's, it's looking for the technology of the fortress up. Yeah, yeah. AI, so, AI robot in 40k. Nice. That is a big fluff, a big fluff development. Um, also, we've got uh, the Rattlings. Uh, a lot of people commented that there, there was a bit of a funny uh, picture going around because they said you had eight explorers, obviously there were nine on the picture, and uh, you had seven and a half and eight yeah. as the two Rattlings. Yeah. They are actually one character. Yeah. They operate similarly to each other. And they split, but you can split them apart and go off and do different things with them. That's cool. um, and you get bonuses for them uh, being able to both see the same target, that sort of thing. Um, uh, I should be able to do this on camera. Yeah, Matt, Matt's just now reading the book. <laughs> More, that's uh, a really cool picture. Okay, yeah, so that is a crew vessel. That's, that's what, cool. That's what the crew so That's all the vessels. Yep. That's cool. And, oh, yeah, there we go. These are the Obsidious Malex. Obsidious Malex. Pretty sure that's the is... first Chaos character with a Thunderhammer. Yes, I, believe, I, think I don't believe any cares characters and then, any cares about access to them at all. So precipice, I'm assuming, is like you open the up town. and you get to the precipice stage of the game. Oh no, I thought I thought this was no 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 this is the um, so precipice is where you return and trade and yeah that's cool that's cool okay uh, I think what you did put them I did date so, sheets oh, so that's it, that's your instructions which is really cool gorgeous amount of lots of nice models in there the uh, spindle drones are amazing I, they're, they're my one of my new favourite units. Partially because they're robots and I just like robots. And secondly because they're really awesome. Right. Uh, we'll do this nice and slowly and hopefully without any glare. And somebody, a kind person out there, can probably just screenshot this and put it all over the internet. I think someone's already done that. Lovely. Excellent. There you go. Try and tilt it to avoid the glare as much as possible. I'm not supposed to, supposed to do that. Uh, well, we weren't told not to. <laughs> no, we did ask what we were supposed to do. Uh, so that, that is your points per unit, if anyone couldn't see that and wants to ask about any of them, that's absolutely fine. Uh, everybody includes all their weapons and all their war gear. Uh, have we frozen? No. Nope. Just Facebook Live. Uh, someone's been teaching James 40k a lot. Men of Iron yes. is in the same from Gaunt's Ghost. Yes. Not not Chaos Corrupted, as in Gaunt's Ghost, though. That's the important thing. I think this is probably working. It's just frozen on the... Cool. Frozen for us here. If anyone on Facebook wants to uh, comment and let us know that we are still uh, streaming, because it appears to be freezing for us, we're just going to keep going through. So we've got, uh, I'll try and put this on here, we've got Janus Drake, our uh, rogue trader. Um, the interesting thing with all of the Imperium guys is they've got um, an Imperium keyword, but they uh, tend to then have a unique keyword to themselves. Uh, with the exception of the Priest and the Zealot and the two Rattlings, who have uh, the Adeptus Ministorum and the Adeptus, uh, the Astra Militarum keywords, respectively. Thank you, John. Thank you, Where will you guys be playing and will it be streamed? Uh, 
We're not sure yet. We certainly will look at streaming it. Yeah. Um, when we'll be playing, probably a few weeks at least, because we need to get our own copy and paint it all up. Unless we can borrow this one. Yeah, unless best, we can paint this one up. The best it. thing to do, Luke, is follow us on Facebook, or follow us on Twitch, and, or our Twitter, which is on there, and you'll see when we're going on, and we'll, we'll put it up in advance. So. And probably about half an hour after we say we're going to start, we'll be able Yeah, uh, it is traditional for us to be late. It's also usually traditional for us to, for us to break. Yeah, break um, the stream at some point. But. So we've got the Road Trader. Who's got the Halloween pistol, same as the um, same as the Road Trader in the Road Trader book? Uh, Monomolecular Rapier, which is just a better power sword. Yep. Um, and this guy's specials that will interact with 40k is he can get any transport whatsoever, even if it only pr only permits models of certain faction keywords. Uh, you reroll once to hit, made for his attacks. He's got four up in one. Uh, once per game, he gets to mortal wounds and people. Oh, He's about 50 points, I think. 40. Yeah. He's pretty good for 40 points. The problem is, he can only be taken in uh, open play or narrative play. You can do whatever you like. In match play, you've got the problem with the uh, Battle Brothers rule yeah. where you can't use the Imperium keyword, so he's going to have to be on a, in an auxiliary support attachment by himself because he doesn't have any factions. And he's not, he's not worth losing a command point over, so. Uh, he might have some connotations. I um, I, I like a 40 point character that can't be targeted, that can go in any transport, so you just pop on an objective. Mm. Uh, but he's, he's not amazing. No. He, he's decent for 40 points. Whether or not you want to drop a CP on him. Fair I'd enough. want a Psyker. Yeah, probably. Imperial Psyker. So, speaking of Imperial Psykers, we've got uh, Esper um, Lacano. Yep. Sure, why not? <laughs> um, who is your uh, navigator. Last pistol and a Force Orb Cane, which is a Force weapon, but without any plus strength or anything. Yeah, which they normally have both. But he's, D3 um, damage. So a, a, a worse Force weapon. So they've both got invul saves. Both, both got, got four plus invul saves. Yep. Uh, uh, he can only he only knows smite. He has one power, um, and it's uh, it's a twelve ah, inch smite. But it's not the closest target. It's a targetable smite. Ah, cool. So limited range, but targetable smite. Useful. Uh, and how many points is he? He is thirty points. That's good. That's However, a cheap smite. He's unique. Same issue. Yep. Imperium and Navis, um, and Navis, Navis and like uh, faction keywords, so you can't get a normal army, you'd have to auxiliary support detachment in. Um, yep, but again, narrative play, open open war, you can do any of these. Uh, the, the two that can be on, um, the two that can be put into an Adeptus Ministorum army, yep. which I'm sure some of our uh, our locals will be a big fan of. We have, yep. we have a weird system of battle metal hit, meta here where half a dozen players play them. Yep. It's a bit bizarre. Uh, you've got Taddeus the Purifier. Who has a power more? Last pistol, servo, stubber. Two pistols, so we can fire both, which is quite nice. Essentially a three shot bolt pistol and a last pistol. Uh, he's a normal priest, so reroll hits um, on him if he charged or opening to be charged against. Um, four of him bomb. Again. And uh, plus one attack for Ministorum infantry and Militarum infantry, same as other priests. Um, which is the War Hymns, which is nice. Yep. Uh, so what's the Zealot got? The Zealot? Sh fl so, right, so the Zealot's got Flamer, character again, heavy Flamer, in fact, and if it's a Chaos unit, you roll 2d6 and drop the lowest, so that's cool. Which is nice. Uh, Rerolled hits. Oh, so it's got a melee weapon as well, but it's only strength 4, minus 1, 1 damage, so you're not going to really bother. Uh, three attacks, reroll the hits on the charge, or if you charge or hurricane intervene, and feel no pain. Yep. Five up, feel no pain. Not great, but um, how many points is it versus... He's really cheap, I think. PS4 is 25. 25 points and the built in heavy flamer. And Thad is nice. Thaddeus is 50. But again, Thaddeus got four up in Um Also, we should mention this dude has a chainsaw bayonet on a heavy flamer. Yeah. Which is possibly the most ridiculous combo yeah. weapon. But the most important thing is those two can be used in normal Sisters of Battle Army and Sisters of Battle Beta Codex coming out. So they might even be in that as characters. Possibly. Very possibly. Um, uh, power level very low on all these characters as well. Yeah. Uh, you are 025, or the character. You're 025. I am. A, I am 025. I think he might be main spot 2.0. Okay. Uh, he has got the Mark One assault cannon, so the first version of the assault cannon, which sucks. It's a heavy four <laughs> assault cannon, but it's only strength five. Yeah. Uh, he's also got power claw, which orc players will be familiar with. He apparently stole it from them. Yeah, <laughs> most. <laughs> it, it is exactly the same as the yeah. orc power claw. So times two minus three, d3 damage, subtract one to hit. 
Uh, he's got a pretty respectable stat line. Strength 5, T5, hits on threes yeah. in both. He's a nice little Four character. Wounds. No Winville, but he's a character protection. So. Yeah. Um, and at the start of each battle round, he gains one wound. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It, Again, he's he's only Imperium and Robotica Imperialis, which isn't so a key word always for auxiliary, Unless you're playing narrative. Yeah. Uh, he's 40 points. For 40 points, that's pretty good. Yeah. The, for anyone who missed it earlier on and might now tuned in since then, he's an Imperial AI for anyone who likes the fluff. We thought they were gone. Men of Iron, God's Ghost, they're in there, but they're the Chaos Infected ones. He's, he, basically, his fluff has ha been hiding on the edge of space. And he's coming to the Backstone Fortress. He's not an, he's not like a robot guard for one of the characters. He's his own character. He, he sees a kindred spirit in the fortress and wants to find that technology for himself. That's mm -hmm. creepy. Yeah, I, I really like the Thinky Robot. Yeah. Um, also, hi Stronghold Games. Thank you very much for giving us this box. Lending us this box. For giving us this box. I'm not sure they can give it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you have given us this box. It's mine now. Um, and then we've got two of the... They're really cool, but I'm not sure how useful these Christopher Griffin, are. open the envelope. I'm not sure we can open the envelope. <laughs> I don't think we can open the envelope. I'm I think it'll, yeah. it, it, it ruins the game for, for, I don't want for a bunch of people catch it. at the end. Um, yeah. It's cool. It's, the thing is, it's, it's going to get spoiled anyway. I'd rather not spoil it. Yes. Yeah, well, in case anyone does that by mistake. Someone else is going to open it and spoil it online, I'm sure, within the next 24 hours If or someone so. tells us we can open it, we can open it but not online and say whether it's worth... No, Wing. no, I don't, I don't want to ruin it for everyone. No, um, not for them. All right, just, just yeah, for yeah, us. just for us, and then we'll be like, oh, yeah, <laughs> I don't, I don't that's a good reveal. Yeah, because um, yeah, so we're going to play this probably. Next up, we've got Rain and Rouse. Oh, so these are the twins. Who are the Rattling Twins? Uh, one of them has a sniper rifle and a stub pistol. The other one has a stub pistol and a demo charge. So uh, you've got mini Sly Marvo here. Um, these guys are Astra Militarum and Militarum Auxilia, so th that's the same keywords as normal Rattlings. So you can take these guys yep. uh, in a normal guard army. I believe they're like 25 points or something. Rain and Rouse are 35 points, which is probably a little much to use in match play, but uh, they have all the normal rattling rules, so find the best spot for the 18 inch away. Infiltrate, uh, shoot from Scarpa so you can move after you fire. Um, naturally stealthy, plus two saving throws in cover. Um, then they've got a few other things. Uh, you go high, I'll go low, so you have to deploy them in coherency at the start of the game. Uh, from that point onwards, each operates independently and is a separate unit. They are both characters, which is pretty fancy. Uh, Rouse has the grappling hook, so ignores vertical distance. Uh, do not count any vertical distance he moves against totally, he can move that turn. Are you moving vertically is free for this model? Interestingly, not in the FAQ, so he can jump over screens for no reason whatsoever if there's a bit of building in a way. Um, then there are also the rattling twins. Uh, if Rain, if Rouse can see what Rain is shooting at, you get to re-roll failed hit and wound rolls. So the demo charge dude, if he can see the other guy, if he can see the target of the sniper, the sniper gets re-rolled. So what's really good with these? Yep. I've just realised. They're really they're, like, they're really good characters, I like that. I, and I was looking at the sniper rifle version. Yeah. They've both got Blister Skill 2. Ooh. And he's got a grenade, demo charge. grenade D6, Strength 8, minus 3, D3 damage. He's got it's a one, battle one, cannon. Yeah. He's a character, so he can get near a tank. He's, they've, not got, they've got movement six, so they're not yeah. slower. He's got movement six. He can move down vertically yep. for free. He can stand on top of a building, drop down, and throw a demo yep. charge drop, at somebody. Drop down, move six. I've got a lovely image of him just like on top of a massive in tower. A night, in a night-heavy meta. <laughs> in a night-heavy meta. That's not, if you're taking guard, it's not a bad 35-point It's not. The, sniper, the sniper's probably the worst part of it, to be yeah. honest. Because especially if you can stick an objective rifle. for one of them to sit on. Yeah. Well, that that's it with the, with the sniper. If you're playing standard 40k and can put the objectives anyway, yeah. anywhere rather than we normally play ITC where they have to be ground floor. Yeah. Um, if you stick one of these at the top of the tallest thing you can find and put your sniper character on top, that's yours. No, no one else is going up there. If it's the lovely uh, Mantic terrain we use, you can actually fill the floor so no one can stand next to him. <laughs> and that's how you break that character in game. Yeah. Enjoy. Uh, <laughs> Stop the stream. Um, <laughs> Crit Tracker. Now, as a Diac possible Grek. tower player, yeah. I think that's a good. Dayak Grek, yeah. yeah that's a good it's, thing. it's close. I was looking at this and I was like, maybe there'll be some synergies for Crew. Maybe there'll be a little bit of saving grace and we'll start actually seeing Crew as something on their screen. No. He's 
I don't know how many points he is, but he's basically just a crew character. Like, yeah, he do he's anything. just a dude. He's got Deep Strike, which is interesting. He's 20 points, so yeah. fair enough, I guess. He does have Tau Empire and crew, so you could include him in a normal Tau army. Uh, the one cool trick he's got is his concealed booby traps. Once per battle end of your opponent's movement phase, you can choose an enemy unit on the battlefield and roll d6. Subtract one if the unit's a character. Add one if the unit's 10 or more, so that's fairly standard. Yep. On a 4+, plus, take d3 mortal wounds. That's on not a bad. 7 plus, suffer d6 instead. So if yeah. you pick a unit of 10 plus and roll yeah. 6. Cool. I didn't see that first, but that's actually quite good. Being able to pick. It's not terrible. It's only d3 mortal wounds, so. Yeah, being able to pick anyone anywhere yeah. on the battlefield for, and do that is good. For 20 points, it's quite cool. It'd be handy if you were playing Tau, you're quite likely to have a hell of a shooting phase if you manage to somehow leave a knight on two wounds or something. Yeah. <laughs> or bits in the Fortress of Redemption. Uh, when yes, is it? Uh, no, it's the, oh, it's the end of your opponent's movement yeah. phase, so that's big. Yeah, that, so you can shoot a unit, and yeah. before they get to retaliate, you can you can plink the last couple of wounds off. That's because it's com well <laughs> combat tell. What am I even on about? But yeah. yeah, okay. Um, it could be cool. Hey, if you shoot that knight castle and down to one wound, it's going to be a really funny thing to do. <laughs> Twenty points. It's going to be amazing. That's you know that it could work. Um, he yeah. also gets the uh, extra cover save, Fieldcraft. I, and I reckon that would come if you took that. I don't know how many points he is, but if you took 20. that, it, 20, points, 20 points. I reckon that would come up. More often than not, and be really annoying. He's an elite's choice in a Tau army, so they're going to have spares, because realistically you take triple Riptide. Yep. Um, you're going to have spare slots for him for 20 points. He's a character who sets an objective, and mm -hmm. once per game does D3 more wounds to somebody. Yep. It's, it's actually better than I thought it was. Uh, then the... Is this the second. last character? No, no, yeah, last character. Just come units right. one second. Get no problem. I'll uh, keep talking about these. Paul, tag in. Paul is not up for being on camera. <laughs> Uh, right, so the last character is uh, Amalyn Shadow Guide. That might be a name. Uh, that's the uh, Eldar Ranger. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce Ashirani. Uh, he's got a Ranger Long Rifle, Power Blade, and Plasma Grenade. Uh, you can only include one of these models, which is true for all of these. You can only include one of, one of each model, um, except for the Hobbits, of course. Hobbits, Rattlings. Um, because the, there's two of them, so you can take two. Uh, this is an Eldar Ranger. It's got the original Eldar Ranger uh, infiltrate, so you can actually use this model as a 9-inch screen. Uh, again, you've got the correct keywords taken in Eldar Army. Uh, she's also Bealtan, which is interesting. Um, yeah, so you subtract one to take, you get two to cover save. It's all standard Eldar Ranger stuff. Uh, Ancient Doom, which is all your normal things. Uh, fighting against Slash and one, uh, morale tests for nearby to Slash. Uh, so you have one to morale test for her if she's within three of any Slash units. It's a one model unit, there's no way you're ever taking morale. Uh, battle focus is different for her. She can move and advance in her movement phase, and weapons, excluding heavy weapons, are used if she remains stationary. So that's completely pointless because it makes no difference whether her only weapon is a heavy weapon. Uh, she can advance and throw the grenade, I guess, a plasma grenade, if you feel like it. Uh, phase Crystal, she's got a 4 up invulnerable save, and once again can move across models and trains if they were not there, which is not included in the FAQ, so she can jump straight over screens and charge stuff, because of course she can. Uh, she's quite expensive, I seem to recall. Uh, hello, that's just destroying the rig. Yep. Uh, the Amalyn Shadow Guide is 50 points. So that's really expensive for one sniper who, for some reason, can jump over screens. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's Eldar. Are you moaning that something? Yeah. Something's come out for Eldari. And it's, it's Eldari is not super powerful. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we're on to the chaos. This is what a lot of people are going to like because it should yeah. be half the um, chaos stuff. You've got Heretic Astartes. Um, for some of them. So if you really wanted to, you could run a two-man... Uh, I've, space I've just realised something really interesting. I'm going to point it out on the next page. So. Sure. Yeah, for 26 points, you could have a troop's choice of two Black Legionnaires if you really wanted. <laughs> I suppose it's fill a battalion. It's a thing. Um, you've got Obsidious Malux. Yeah, why not? Who can be? He's the uh, Chaos Lord with the Thunder Hammer. You can take him in a normal Chaos Army. He does your normal uh, Chaos Space Marine stuff. Uh, he's Black Legion. So, Black Legion and Friendly Servants of the Abyss units. Servants of the Abyss is the keyword for most of the other stuff in this book. Yep. Uh, he's got a 4 pin bomb. He's got Death of the False Emperor. He's got a Thunder Hammer and a Plasma Pistol. He doesn't have any grenades, which is slightly weird. Other than that, he's pretty much a standard um, dude. Just stuff. 
Um, then we've got the Rogue Psyker, who is Chaos and Servants of the Abyss. So you could take them in an attachment with Obsidious Malux, um, but you can't take them in a normal Chaos Army yeah. in match play. Uh, this is the only model that's not unique um, that is a character. You can actually have two of these. I assume two come in the box, which would be why. Yeah, I think, two. I think it's two different sculpts. Uh, so this is a got the got the four stave, so it minus one D three damage. So 30, 30 or forty point Psyker. I think they're thirty. They are. Rogue Psyche is 30 points each. Uh, Servants of the Abyss. We'll talk about Servants of the Abyss now. It's a rule that everybody except for Obsidious Malux, who is a Servant of the Abyss. Yep. Uh, which is everyone except for the Spindle Drones that's left. Um, has this rule. You can't deploy them till Obsidious Malux is deployed. When Obsidious Malux deploys, everyone has to deploy at the same time within six inches of him. Anyone who can't is automatically destroyed. Yep. So you don't want to be taking a horde of cultists for this. Uh, it's, unless if you don't take Malux, then you can uh, do whatever you like because yeah. they just point on me. Um, the Rogue Psyker only knows Smite. Um, you can reroll any dice rolls of one when taking a Psychic Test this model. However, all doubles are perils. That's bad. Um, which is pretty bad. It is a four-wing character, so at least you're not going to blaze up. up. Go on, Matt, you can. I'll talk for about 20 minutes. Yeah. Now, you're uh, Negavolt Cultists should get four in the box. What they got? So, Servants of the Abyss, have you just covered that? Yep, yep, yep. Servants of the Abyss again. Same thing. Uh, what have they got? Electro Guard, so strength plus two, so strength five, damage one. Every six gets three hits, which is cool. Yeah, it's the uh, same as the Electro Priest yeah. uh, Punchy Fists. Uh, I thought these might be Dark Mechanicum or something, no. but they're not. No. In fact, I uh, theorised that in our chat the other yeah. day that when this, when this was previewed by Games Workshop, and um, feel no pain. So. Uh, and they all come with a five. Pinball, and when it completes a charge, you get uh, on six of your mortal wounds, so it's yeah. like the electric priest. But it's, it's for every model in your unit, and it's yeah. just against target unit. There's no range on that, just one model completes the charge, everyone in the unit gets, gets, to, gets to do the mortal wound punch. Yeah. You only get four of them in your unit, though. Yeah, but you can include multiple units. They're only power level two, so if you're playing narrative, you can take a ton of these dudes. <laughs> uh, oh no, sorry, you can only have one, one this unit in your army. Yeah. They, they are unique. You can't, you can't spam. Yep. Uh, next one, Black Legionnaires, standard Chaos Space Marines, Black Legion. Uh, typical loadout. The only thing is, Malex and followers, if your army is Battleforged, you can only include a detachment that also includes Obsidious Malex. Uh, no, you can only include this unit if you've got him. Oh, great. So you can't take them as a 26 point battalion fill out. And if you do take them in an army with Malex, uh, they don't take up any slots. And they have to be deployed when he's deployed within six yeah. inches. This is kind of going to be a pain in the ass for these guys. It, I think, I think uh, they've put in the points for match play, but it's very much a narrative and open. Yeah, you're going to struggle. You've got some more comments if you want to scroll down. The curse rules are similar to the Galapox. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they really it's are. More for, it's more for narrative and open play. Um, so it's one power level. Why, yeah. why, why not? Sure. Yeah. Two Marines, one power level. Uh, we'll come back to the Spindle Drones because they're not slight servants of the Abyss. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was going to say basically. Uh, Chaos Beastmen, we said about these earlier in the video. Proper Beastmen, they're not cool. Zeech. Auto Pistols, Last Pistols, Assault Weapons, Chainsaws. Servants of the Abyss we've just covered. One to your strength and attacks on your charge, so strength five, two attacks on the charge. Cool. Um, uh, three attacks on the charge because you're always going to have a chainsaw oh, yeah, or chainsaw bridge or assault weapons, well. so yeah, you get an yeah. extra attack. They also have frag and crack grenades, which is pretty awesome. Um, and they are again slaves to Malik, so if your army's battle forged, you they don't so take, take up slots. slots. And have to deploy with them. Which again is a problem because you want them to actually be troop choices, but they can't be. And they can't be in a match play of things. They've got to be in service of the abyss, they've got to be with him and deployed near him. Yeah. So you I can th take them in match play, but it's I'm, I'm not I think really these are, sure I think these stage are more for, take uh, them you maybe play a 40k game with the models in these box before you get into a 40k game yeah. um, and lastly uh, Trader Guardsman guard. Servants of the Abyss still and just otherwise they're, guards they're just guardsmen they uh, one of them has a flamer other than that it's las pistols uh, las guns uh, for some reason one of them has crack grenades but none of the rest do uh, and two of them have uh, last pistol or auto pistol and brutal assault weapons uh, to answer Mark on Facebook Live no they're not it's not set up wholly within six it's just Anywhere within six within. so you've still got as long as you're tailing back um, so it gives you like a nine inch interesting I spotted with a guard the other day when yeah. someone leaked the points online um, seven points a model oh sorry seven not points a model Jesus Jesus oh, Christ says five points a model they're not a six points a model yeah uh, they five are points five a points a model um, but you have to bear in mind that that includes the cost of the flamer uh, which is normally a nine point upgrade. Yeah. One so, of these armor of so it's 35, they're not five points per model, they're 35 points for the seven. Minus the flamer. Minus the flamer, which you take off nine. So they're actually cheaper than four points a model. <laughs> 
the guard. Um, so guard. don't worry about chapter three. Guard going up, they're probably they're probably going to go down. They might. They, they definitely won't go down because it's like yeah. three point eight points per model. I'm pretty sure we're not <laughs> going to go to that kind of granular um, level. That'd be mad. The spindle drones. One thing I've just noticed going through it. You you know you said they're not servants yeah. of the abyss. They're not actually a faction that we can do. They're Blackstone Construct and Unaligned. Now, is Unaligned going to be... Unaligned can be taken with anything currently, because that is what fortifications are. There we go. So, uh, you take an auxiliary support attachment of Unaligned, and they can go in any any army at all. So, uh, anyone can take Spindle Drones. Not sure you want to. No. They're a unit of four. They're a unit of four. Their rule's cool, but it's super situational. And it's 60 points for four of them, so it's 15 points each. Um, but you have to take all four. You can only have one unit. Um, they are basically a two wound space marine, two wound two attack space marine. Yep. Uh, leadership ten, which means you can't fail unless there's leadership modifiers involved. Um, try out Mark's Harlequins. And the mm. only weapon is a pistol, a range eighteen yeah. pistol, which is called the Drone Pulse, and yep. it is strength three, AP zero, damage one, which is terrible when it starts. It's until that. you look at. Uh, I like to think of these guys as screaming danger, danger, Will Robinson a lot. Because uh, their special rule is threat, threat level rising. Um, improve the strength, armor penetration, and damage characteristic of a model's drone pulse by one for each model in the unit that has either lost wounds or been destroyed. They go on to explain this rule because it's slightly complex. For example, if two models in a unit of spindle drones have been destroyed and another has lost one rune, the two remaining model's drone pulses would have a strength characteristic of six, an AP of minus three, and a damage of four. That's really cool. <laughs> Sorry, what was the... Uh... Uh, something something about you complimenting a crew. Yeah, the, the crew was yeah. pretty good. Oh yeah, sorry, there's a little bit of backstory there. Uh, Larks is determined to convert crew into every armor ever, ever, and I've basically that. told him to uh, that, uh, if he mentions crew again nearby to me, I'm going to throw some at him. So that's coming your way when I see you in May. They're cool. I the like them. drones are cool. Um, I don't think you're ever going to see them in a match play army. Uh, John John M says, "Do you have top three in terms of the data sheets you've just read? Spindle drones." Do you know what? <laughs> For you as favourites. Well, in, term, in terms of rules, uh, he's cool. Janus, Janus Drake, Drake, definitely. Uh, um, that's not my favourite. Okay. Robot's cool. Robot's cool, but I think he kind of sucks. I think Evan's cool. The, tw the Ratlins are cool. I, I think they're good. Devilish yeah. charge. In terms of competitive choices, I think we're talking Taddeus the Purify. Because he's, he's just a better priest. Okay. He's, he's just a priest who's better than normal priests. Okay. Um... And you can take them in a normal army. Yep. Rain and Rouse, because you can take them in a normal army. They have useful weapons, and they're really um, they're really effective for holding objectives and blocking yeah, areas. I like them. They're really powerful. Uh, and as much as it pains me to say it, I really like the crew. I tracker. like the crew guy. And importantly, for everything else in this book, he can go in an army. Yeah. And it's just an elite. Well, and what we've done there is pick all the guys who can actually go in armies. Is the good ones. Yeah. Well, because yeah, it's got to yeah. be, hasn't it? Um, but the yeah, range the range is no. terrible. No. For fifty yeah. points, it's so bad. Um. Of course, you've also got uh, Obsidious Malux, who is 104 points, I think? Yeah, 102 points. Uh, for a Thunder Hammer Plasma Pistol Cast Lord, um, I think that's pretty reasonably priced. Yeah. Uh, he's, he is tied to Black Legion, um, but it's not a problem, really. He's quite interesting. I don't think... I, I think you'll just see normal Cast Lord. In terms of models? Uh, Imperial Robot. Models. Imperial Robot, definitely. Cool. Uh, I love the Rattlings again. I think they're great. Beastman and the Traitor Guard. I've seen Plastic Traitor Guard is awesome. Yes. I want to see more Plastic Traitor Guard. Yes. I want to I, see more Plastic Beastman. I like the Traitor Guard. Um, wherever we've just hidden them, Joe, I didn't really look at them. Yeah. They're cool. I like the Urgul ones. Which, yeah, and the, uh, the, the we weird thing is there's four Urguls. We totally oh. forgot the Urguls who are oh, on the back page. We didn't even look at this before. No, uh, so we've not paid attention to this. I think they're going to be pretty similar. It's a normal... Nominator Cabal. Right, you can take these in a normal Drakari army. Uh, let's look at the points for them. Start with the Urgul. Uh, 15 points each, and you buy them... Um, but they're not in the normal cart, the Archon. Well, they, they are. are. Uh, yeah, they are in the normal book, yeah. the same. So, uh, they have five up invulns, because it's Drakari. Why wouldn't it have an invulnerable save? Uh, not bitter. Um, ferocious Charge. Add two to this model's attack characteristic if it made a charge move in the same turn. That's a tax six. That's it already six has three. four attacks. Um, caught the Archon. You can reroll failed hit rolls for the model if it is within three of a friendly Archon. In addition, if the Archon is, if the Army's Battle Force model does not take up uh, slots in an attachment that includes any Cabal Archons, I, I think, think that's they standard. do much. Um, for 15 points, 
it's pretty punchy. It's not a character. Strength six attack. Uh, six strength four attacks. It's nasty. Fifteen points is not bad. Yeah. In a battle four army in match play, you can only include you can include a maximum of four court of the archon models in the same detachment, and you can only include them in a detachment that includes one or more cabal archon. Uh, but yeah, a traded guard, ace, really nice models. Um, I like that this guy has a cape that's in multiple parts because it's a push fit model. <laughs> has, any, has anyone got any questions? We've gone through yeah. the rules. Um, anything, you want, anything you want to look at? Anything of particular interest around really there? Really cool. The spindle drones are cool. See, the spindle drones, when they were first previewed, I was like, what are they? What the spindle drones are a lot smaller than you'd think. Like, I'm going to try and show this the best I can. They're blue horror size? No, smaller? Mm, don't know, like, literally, they're the size, they're smaller than the guards. Let's put it that way. Um, Do you know what? I'm not sure why I'm looking at the sprue to see what stuff looks like when we've got this. <laughs> we actually one. have pictures of things. So, um, the Traitor Guard are really cool. Traitor Guard are ace. I can see the Traitor Guard being Death Corps of Kree, because they've got that look about them. Yeah. Being Renegade Guard. Um, you could you could definitely take the Chaos Summers off, I think, and yep. kit bash them and make them a, oh, easily. You a, could, a really cool plastic To guard. be honest, there's not that many Chaos Summers. They're more... It's like hanging stuff, isn't it? Yeah. They are proper tra like, they're more new sort of, Traitor Guard. Yeah. yeah. They're not they're, they're not like in Blazing with Star. They've got their chain mail on them. They look a bit raggedy. Sorry. No. Yeah. So the Imperial robot is actually a lot smaller. Yeah, no, the Imperial think. robot's tiny. Yeah. He's, uh, he's here. This is the. I'm, I'm constantly thinking just of these him bits as of the Imperial like, oh, so he's a bit. He's bigger than he looks in this picture. Yeah. But he, um, he's maybe Primaris size, maybe a little touch a little bigger, bigger than Primaris. Bigger, I think. Uh, he's, he's cool. Well, yeah, um, in that picture he looks like he's marine size on yeah. a 25. But Stronghold, when you get this uh, kit back, it will not have the robot on it. <laughs> it won't have any of the characters or rules. Yeah, uh, we're just going to give you back the empty box, so thank you Maybe for the box. Maybe we can seal it and put something heavy in it. Yeah. Rogue Psychers. They're really cool models. The Rogue Psychers are the amazing. The same um, Malefic Lords are. Yeah, no, they, they, to they still more. might be some Malefic Lords at some stage. Uh, but I, I love all the models in this kit. To be honest, even if you've uh, no interest. Best, best model in the kit. Um, <laughs> Billy. I wouldn't read that out. Billy, I'm not going to read out the question. Uh, we have got this from Stronghold Games, your friendly local gaming store. In Hull, UK. Running events and supplying a wide range of models, accessories, and friendly advice. They also sell refreshments for during the tournaments. Mm, very good. Good service as well. Visit Stronghold Games. Favorite, uh, yeah, best mo best <laughs> model in the kit. For you, go on. Do you know what? What's your favorite? Do you know when you see people on YouTube and they're like, I like everything. Yeah. And you're like, you've you've, you've got the free kit. You've got to say that. We're not obligated to say yeah. anything. We should clarify. GW are in no way sending us a free kit. We no. we are not being paid to do this at all. If GW this is want our to, if GW want to go forward and send us stuff in the future, that would be yeah. really if, helpful. If GW want to send us our own, we'll get it painted up. Um, our full release down play on stream for you. Yeah. I'll, I'll paint this whole kit in like a week and a half. That's fine. Yeah. If GW want to send us anything yeah. going forward, we'll, get it, yeah. we'll get it painted, we'll unbox it and Send it a week in advance, it. I'll paint it for release day and we'll stream it. Favourite model? Honestly... I have one. I do. I like... Do you know what? I like everything. I think the, the character models are great, they're really colorful. I like everything apart from the, the normal Kill Space Marines. I And I, and like I feel them. like I feel like they've wasted Sorry. an opportunity with them. I feel that pose is so overdone. Yeah. They could have done something. You know, if you look at the new Death Guard models. Yeah, they could have done The Chaos Lords, Chaos. very vanilla, but I like him. It's okay, I didn't break Guard it. are amazing. We've already gone about the Beastmen. Egg are a bit boring. They're cool. Mega Vault cultists are a bit... I, 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 think, I think, if anything, it's, it's the Marines and the cultists that are the weakest models. My favourite, because I'm looking at it on the sprue, and I really didn't think it would be, um, is the Priest. I think the Priest looks amazing. Priest really good. Uh, David Sheridan says, awesome. apologies shown already, what are the painting instructions like? Uh, well, if it's just that, David, They're pretty it's, slender. it's like the back of a box. I will just, there's nothing in the date sheets book. I cannot see GW releasing this without uh, doing a how to, doing yeah, a Duncan yeah, video on yeah, every definitely. single model. There will be a Duncan video on every uh, every model, all the tips. Yeah, no, that, that's it. I'll be surprised if they did a little painting guide, but yeah. Yeah. Peachy and Duncan will be well on this with, yeah. with painting tips. Got to be. There's going to. I actually made every character is going to get a how-to. Um, I'm sure we get something for the for the Renegade Guard for the Chaos. Yeah. 
Um, it's going to be picked apart for a couple of. It's a two week pre order. I think it's going to be a two yeah, week. They're going to do weeks a lot of videos coming out before. Um, I also think. Uh, sorry, sorry, what was no, sorry, it's the same. It's the same as before. All right, cool. Um, I also think we're going to see a lot of play on this. Uh, as we mentioned, Warren Community have put up some links to. There's a full Let's Play. Um, they've given it the full AOS treatment. Um, previously, only Age of Sigmar got the Becca Scott how to play. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so they brought her back in to do a how to play on Blackstone Fortress. See, what I saw with the Warhammer Quest was so you had Warhammer Quest come out. Uh, Silver Tower. Yep. So yeah. And, and then, then you had Shadows of uh, Undervolt. No, no, that, that's Hammerhall. Yeah, Shadows of Hammerfall. Undervolts the Undervolts the, the Shadespire release. Yeah. release. Um, so that was two releases, but then they also did loads of rules and did a hero set yeah. of the AOS plastic clam set heroes. I can see that being on this. Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe not all the Xenos races, but yeah. The Road models, the Galapot. I will be amazed if this doesn't spiral into half a dozen extra yeah. releases to go with it. Yeah. Um, you can. Is they? There, there is creator missions, missions in here. You can also draw cards to do. Yeah, yeah, um, to do random missions. Um, a book just devoted to combat. What are your thoughts on value for money based on oh, GW price? Retail? I don't think it's been announced yet. I'm going to guess, if based it, on what Silver Tower stuff is, you're looking at probably about 90 quid, 95 quid. Yeah, so 90 quid. 90, quid's, 90 quid for a board game, but with this many models is good. Mm -hmm. GW for still, a board game is not outlandish? No. Um, 90 quid for a board game without models is not outlandish. 90 quid for a board game with this models is. Most GW products you can get at GW or through discounters. Yeah. We're and then it becomes like, amazing. Um, we'll do another wonderful plug here. Value for money from Matthew, Matthew there. Yeah. If, if you're getting it for 40k models and you play competitively, no. No. Not if great. you play narrative or open play or kill team and you can make your own rules and stuff, it's definitely. Some, some, if you want to, if you want to get it as a, a board, painting project, modelling project, absolutely. There's more than value for money in here. Just the Imperial characters are probably worth it if you just want to paint them. Yeah. Um, I can see this box getting split as well. A lot of people buying it and yeah. taking half and half. Um, bear in mind that you can usually buy these discount. You get 10% off at Stronghold Games. If you uh, if it goes over 100 pounds, you get 15% yeah. off. Yeah. Visit Stronghold Games. Um, <laughs> sorry, they gave us the box. Gave yeah. us no, the box. I think that's fair. Um, <laughs> uh, but also, I think you'll get a lot of a lot of hours of gameplay out of it. There's multiple missions. Um, it's got the whole RPG going thing going on for it as well. Yeah, the, the combat rules are. There's a lot of different options. Of, it's, it's all like activations and actions and things like that. It's not just like the combat is seven pages of rules, but there's like events and the com I think the combat is more of a rule book yeah. as well as the rules. They've yeah. had the it's like a whole, separate, rules, so. it's a whole separate event. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's tons of stuff to do in here. I think hours of playing time you're gonna get. Uh, 95. Ah, oh, there you go. 95 pound combined. So cool. So that's 76 quid if you can get it up to 20% off. So yeah. somewhere between 75 and 90, 95 quid. Yeah, which is, and getting it 20% off is very easy. Um, that, and that's typical GW price, to be fair. Yep, yeah, 95 quid for a box this size is about so, right. Uh, that's about that sort of Speed Freaks was. So Speed Freaks was, it's what the it's Warhammer Quest ones are. Yeah, it's what Silver Tower and, was. And, and it's what most of the boxes this size are nowadays. The interesting thing with this is, with Silver Tower, it was all like this. Yep. New models. I'm well over. Uh, yeah, you, you've been off woo. the screen for ages, Matt. Um, Come on in. Join uh, me. Silver Tower was like this. It was all multiple different models on a, new models on a new sprue. Yeah. Hammerfall was different. Hammerfall brought in a load of existing models. Yeah. And that, uh, that'll be the real thing if they, if they expand it that way. But. I think there'll be a lot of cool stuff to come in here. I'm going to put it all back in shiny. Yeah. Also, we should mention, this is a GW game. Well, uh, I, know, with I know you all haven't seen the rules yet properly, but does it have replayability? Yes. Yes, absolutely. There's, a, there's an absolute ton of content in here. There's, e even just on one playthrough, there's half of them basic missions before you start creating your own missions. You can go back and trade, you can grow your characters. Um, you can, you've got these little uh, things to put your characters in with all their equipment, so your characters can level up. Which means it's, pos it's entirely possible that you could have multiple games of this on the go and take your character to join someone else's Blackstone Fortress game. Yeah. You can run it with uh, different groups. Yeah, there's plenty of uh, capability to play all over the place with this. The model, isn't model wise, I will be amazed if they don't bring out kill team rules. Yeah, I will be amazed if they don't bring out kill team rules. No, we're not opening no. that. I'll be amazed if they're very team rules. They're great for Necromunda, the Priest, the um, the Zealot. I, I think as soon as this comes out, 
a lot of Sisters of Battle players are going to pick up the Priest. Yeah. I'll, I'll be surprised if a Priest very similar to that doesn't come out with Sisters of Battle loot. Yeah. Because they've already made the sculpt. Why would they not release it on a separate sprue? Yeah. And they can do that. It's all yeah. digital now. Yeah. So yeah. It's, 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 it's just, just a, a sprue. Just a copy of the drawing. Replant on a sprue. Uh, but no, I absolutely love that Priest. I, I may well pick it up just There's like a Priest. lot of stuff in this box, isn't there? That's... There's tons of stuff. A lot of plastic. <laughs> Oh, I'll leave them in there. No, I'm gonna have to leave them in there, I think. Yep. Put the quick start rule back in. Yep. Think. And then, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, we missed a book. Oh, I was gonna put that at the top. Oh, okay. Right, there we go. Love it. Pack it back in. There you go. Find the lid. Stronghold Games we will return a box similar to this, but without the contents. A box. Yeah, but it, the box on the outside will be like identical. We well, promise. We're, it'll wear about the same. Yeah. We'll have no model or rules in. Um, I reckon if we put a shredded cabbage in there. Reseal it. Right Use some really good rope and, and yeah. they'll never get it. <laughs> some really good rope. <laughs> Gonna reseal the box. I'll never find rope. No one will notice. Right. Uh, thank you guys. Um, best thing to do if you want to catch more from us. And maybe we could get some hands on some of the stuff. Um, but yeah, follow us on Facebook. Go to our Twitch and follow us on there, follow us on Twitter and you'll see when we're streaming and we try and do battle reports. We do the copy hangouts on Twitch where we just chat and game and yep. talk hobby, talk new releases and all in all the systems we play. Um, we're hoping that this is the first of a few and we can get hands on a few more boxes to play with. Yeah, hopefully when, whatever we can get hands on as soon as we can unboxing wise, yep. we can go through it and do it on live on Facebook with questions and, and YouTube yep. and put it on there and stuff. And talk to us on Twitch, Facebook, Twitter. Um, let us know what you want to see. We can do some battle report space. We've got a large pile of armies that we can pick from. Mm -hmm. Some of them um, are even painted. Yours, um, yes, yes, yeah. all, <laughs> all mine are marks. Some of Matt's are painted because me and Mark painted them. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, we've also got a large pool of gamers around here that we can steal things from. Yeah. So. That's good. Right. Right. Let's, let's, Thank you very much. Let's go. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. -bye.